my natural beauties and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bibi and I'm here to help you fall in love with your skin again. And what I do is I give you tips and tricks that you can do on a daily, weekly basis or whenever you feel like it that will really help to improve the way that your skin looks, improve the way that your skin feels and also improve the way that you feel about your skin. So basically, I help you get your skin confidence back and feel like the natural beauty that you are anyway and how to help you embrace it. So today we're just going to continue that trend. Now we're going to do it a bit differently today and I'm not going to talk just about your facial skin, but your body skin in general, because our lifestyles these days are so fast paced and we eat healthy to the most extent but sometimes you just you don't have time and you forget to take care about yourself and there's other things that are so important that our skin usually is well forgotten and it's the last thing that you think about treating however it is the first thing that everybody sees so it really needs a bit more love than we give it so what I'm going to talk about today is detox in general. Now, yes, everybody thinks about detox as what you eat and avoiding certain things. And, and yes, that is part of it. But today is not going to focus about food or anything like that. It's more going to focus on things that needs to be done regularly, that can be done regularly to actually help to detox your skin and improve your skin, body and face, body and face, and just clean it out and help it to come back alive again amidst our busy, stressful lifestyles that we lead today. So let's get started. So the first thing that you can do on a daily basis to help detox your skin is dry body brushing. Like this, a little brush, that's bristles are quite coarse and you literally just like that gonna brush the skin and it's really good to help improve circulation improve lymphatic drainage it helps with cell turnover it helps to exfoliate the skin and it's really really effective more effective though if you can do it in the mornings before you shower you're always going to start from your feet and work your way up towards the heart. On the tummy, you'll obviously go in a clockwise motion to make sure it literally takes about two to five minutes, depending on how quickly you brush and how harsh you brush as well. Don't go too strong on the brushing because it is, well, it feels quite exfoliating. You will feel. And then if you can, you can apply a detoxifying oil over it like sesame seed oil, wait for about five minutes and then shower. And this will just help the skin on your body in general to start the cell turnover process and to start livening up, basically. <laughs> the next thing you can do to help detox your skin, and this is specifically to your face, is of course to cleanse your skin with a detoxifying cleanser daily. Now here is not necessarily the ingredients that it contains, but mostly the ingredients that we want to avoid. So definitely check and read the back. Make sure that it's pH balanced. Make sure there's no alcohol in it. Make sure there's no chemicals in it. Try your best to find something that's all natural because these types of things will help improve your skin. Whereas some ingredients that are in products, unfortunately, do the opposite. So if you can avoid those, that'll be really, really good for your skin. So the next thing you can do is two to three times a week, soak in a detoxifying bath. <laughs> yes, take some time and for 20 minutes, go lay in a bathtub and relax. Now, everybody knows that Epsom salts are really, really good to detox, detox, detoxify your body. But there's many other things that you can add to the Epsom salts as well. Ginger, baking soda, sesame seed oil, 
even apple cider vinegar is something that you can add within the Epsom salts and then soak in them as well, which will just make that detoxing process even more effective and even more helpful to get the circulation going, to get the toxins out of the blood and out of the skin, and to remove the dull appearance of the skin. Then you can also, of course, two to three times a week, apply a detoxifying clay mask to your face. Now, generally, any natural clay mask will have a detoxifying effect to the skin because any clay has the ability to extract and remove impurities from your skin. So this is also something really nice that you can add. Careful with these ones though, to not use them too much because it is a clay. It can potentially also dehydrate the skin. Try not to use them too much, but like I said, any natural clay based mask for the face or even the body as well will have a cleansing effect and help draw out impurities that are in the skin anyway. Then you can also apply products that helps with pollution. Other than the fact that you have to apply moisturizer and SPF and all of these things to your skin as well, you can add something extra to the skin that really is specifically formulated to fight the pollution that we face every single day within our stressful lifestyles. Something like a chelator. Now I know iron is definitely one of the best chelators that you can find and it does come in serum form that you can actually apply to your skin and then just put your moisturizer over it as soon as it has penetrated. But vitamin C and green tea extract are also really good at fighting pollution that builds up on the skin. So if you can find any of those within a serum or a cream as well, make sure to apply that to the skin and that'll also help to fight pollution and detox the skin at the same time. And then yes, also what you eat is very important. <laughs> so of course, avoiding the sugars, the excessive salts, um, the sodas, things like that, and going for more natural raw foods, vegetables, healthy proteins, nuts, lots and lots of water, which is also really, really important, will also help to detox the skin and improve the way the skin looks. But now, like I said, I'm not gonna go into detail about food because I think by now we all know that it plays an important role, but mostly the better you eat, the better your skin will appear. And it does, I know. If I've had a week where I'm binging on sugar, my skin immediately shows it. Then I have to go through the detox process again to get the sugar out of my system before my skin will clear up from the breakouts that I get or the dryness that I get. So it's really not worth it to put your skin through all that stress just because you wanna go on a sugar binge. Even though it's really nice and I absolutely love chocolate, but I know that if I do it once a week, I'm good. I can get away with it. More than that, and my skin starts showing it immediately. So that's it. Simple things that you can do, that you can incorporate in your daily routine for your body and your face to really help your skin look and feel like it was never polluted in the first place. And that's what we want to go through. So of course, if you've liked what you've seen today and you've learned something new, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like and share it with your friends so that they can learn this as well. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for weekly tips on how to take care of your skin and love your skin again. But then until I meet all my natural beauties again, have a lovely day and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.